Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting a new vlog series because I am heading out to my next assignment tomorrow. When I tell you guys that I am like the epitome of procrastination, this is a huge example of that. So my last travel assignment, I was in Hilo, Hawaii for 13 weeks and I came home after my assignment to just be home for a bit. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am engaged. So on top of leaving my last assignment from Hawaii, um, I moved back to Dallas where I am based out of. I am planning a wedding and then I was looking for my next assignment. And in the process of that as well, we are moving out. <laughs> I am heading to my next assignment and my next assignment is in New York. You guys, I have never done an assignment on the East Coast, so I'm very, very, very excited. And as much as I wanted to do a, I wanted to do an assignment in warmer climate, it just didn't work out that way. Um, for those of you that are travelers, you do know um, what travel assignments are looking like right now, especially for respiratory. Obviously, it is so, so, so different from when we had all of the crisis contracts. The contracts just haven't been all that great, which is why I did take a little bit of a break after Hawaii before signing on to my next contract, just to help plan the wedding, kind of get things situated here. And then also because contracts just weren't that great. And I finally found a contract I was comfortable with. And when, when I say comfortable, I mean as far as the pay package went and everything that had to go with it. So as far as respiratory contracts go right now, a hot commodity right now are on pediatric therapists, NICU therapists, which I am not. I mainly only work with adults. I've never gotten my NRP. I have my pals, but not my NRP, but I also don't have a lot of experience with it. And those contracts are in high demand right now. You probably notice it if you are, you know, in looking at travel contracts for respiratory. Yeah, those are where the big bucks are going right now. There's been an influx with RSV, so the ERs are crazy busy with all those cases. But I finally found a contract that is adults and I was happy with the pay package. Am I happy about it being in New York? I <laughs> don't know because there's a lot of new things with this travel assignment. So one, I will be on the East Coast. And like I've said before, I don't really like to reveal where I'm going exactly just for privacy reasons, but I will be in the state of New York. I will basically be working right up until my wedding, which is early next year. So just lots and lots going on. So um, yes, the things that are different, I will be in the East Coast. And if you are on the East Coast, especially in New York, you know how cold it is there right now. I'm expecting that when I land tomorrow for it to be snowing and it'll be snowing for the next couple days. Never lived anywhere that snowed like that. When I did my assignment in Iowa, I literally came at the end of their winter season. So then it got really, really hot. But yeah, I have just never lived where there's snow. So with that being said, as far as my housing goes, I went ahead and booked housing that is, I believe it's like 0 0.4, 0 0.5 miles away from the hospital because I am not taking my car with me. I am going to be walking to work, public transportation. We'll see how that goes. But from what I've heard from other travelers and my agency, that's pretty much the norm in that area. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but yeah, a lot of different things with this assignment that I'm a little nervous about, but I will push through and I will make the most of it as I always do. And yeah, just really excited. Honestly, I am kind of excited to get back to work to start my morning again. Weddings ain't cheap, y'all. Today is Wednesday. Our flight is tomorrow, Thursday. So my fiance is flying with me to New York just to help me get settled in. Um, we're renting a car when we land. So we're gonna go grocery shopping, kind of take care of things that I need to take care of with a car um, before he leaves. And of course, to spend some time together and hopefully sightsee if the weather is okay while we're down there. But yeah, so. I leave tomorrow, 5 a.m. He's at work right now. If you don't know, he is also a respiratory therapist, but he is based here out of Dallas. So 
we both leave tomorrow at 5 a.m. So I have been packing for my assignment and also packing to get out of this place because our lease, okay, that is just, I just noticed that's open. It is. Um, yeah, so, and I've been packing this place because our lease ends while I'm on assignment and I'm trying to make things a little bit easier for Justin so he doesn't have to like move everything by himself. Um, but yeah, so as you know, life of a traveler, I have things everywhere. I have things at my sister's place, my parents' place. I do have a storage unit and it's all just everywhere. And literally packing everything up and like putting things away. I was like, I am so ready to be in one spot and just live. Like I am so ready to not live out of a suitcase because as much as I have been home for like the past month or so, I'm still kind of living out of a suitcase because a lot of my stuff is half here, half in a storage. Like it's just everywhere and it's driving me crazy. And I'm just really excited to have a home again in one place, which that will all come after we're married. And that's just another story as well. I have to basically just finish packing for my assignment. Um, yeah, it's a lot. So it is already two o'clock here. I've basically been awake since six when Justin left for work, but packing and kind of just putting things away. So yeah, I think we will start this vlog. I'm very, very, very excited. I kind of also wanted to start the vlog too because I had a few of you guys asking me what I pack on my travel assignments. And I will share that with you guys later on once I start putting things into a bag. You gotta know my packing um, style is not the best because as much as I have traveled for the last two years for these assignments, I have noticed I don't finish packing until like five minutes before we leave for the airport. Justin knows that very well. Um, just because, I don't know, it's just the way, it's just the way I pack. I could have things ready for like days, like I'll just have things in piles everywhere, but then at the last minute, that's when I like kind of stuff everything into my luggage. Um, but yeah, so I will share with you guys some of the things that I do take on my assignments that will hopefully help you guys if you guys are traveling. Okay, so I think that's it. So I am going to drink my coffee. This is like the first thing I've eaten. I Uber Eats um, with avocado toast. As you know, I'm trying to get ready for this wedding. But yeah, avocado toast. All right, y'all gotta be kidding me. This is the avocado toast. I kind of made this myself. Anyway. <laughs> like avocado toast and like two pieces of eggs. I could have made this. But I've also been getting rid of groceries here we have at the place because I won't be here anymore, so. Good morning, you guys. So it is a little after three and we need to head to the airport. So our flight leaves at five o'clock. We called an Uber X and just waiting for it to get here and off to New York. So I was able to fit all my luggage in one, two, and then this is Justin's um, luggage. So that's three. And then I have my backpack that I usually will use for work and my purse. And this is what I'll be living out of. Got our rental car. <coughs> you know you're not in Hawaii anymore when they put a snow scraper in the car. <laughs> So tomorrow it's supposed to, actually tonight it's gonna snow really hard. So we decided to kind of just stop off at Niagara Falls. I look like a hot mess, oh my gosh, it's so cold already. Um, so we're stopping at Niagara Falls just to check it out because we're not sure how bad it's gonna be tomorrow. We're even gonna be able to see it tomorrow, but I really wanna see the falls when it's snowing because I heard it was pretty when it's like frozen over. But yeah, so we're gonna make a stop here. I'm still in my outfit from the airport, so this is not the warmest outfit, but I'm gonna make the most of it. Oh, 
Falls. It's cold. It's a good picture. I think we're good, yeah? Yeah, we're good. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're back in the car. We just saw Niagara Falls. Justin's driving. We are gonna grab some coffee at Tim Hortons. I've never been, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then we have about an hour before we can check into the apartment. So we are gonna go grocery shopping at Trader Joe's and then head to the apartment. So yeah. The reason why we did stop by Niagara Falls was because the Trader Joe's was closer to this area than where my apartment was, so decided to go ahead and stop by. I'm glad we did go because it was like kind of sunny and the weather wasn't too bad, so. Now we're gonna get some coffee and go to Trader Joe's. All right, we got our Tim Hortons. I just got a regular coffee and then we got like two donuts. Let's see if you can see it in here. Our dinner is at five o'clock, so we kind of just wanted a little snack. So now we are heading to Trader Joe's. So we just got to my apartment, yay! We got here exactly like 3.15, so it was perfect timing because we were able to check in at three o'clock. I look like a hot mess, but I'm gonna give you a little tour before we take everything out of my luggage because it's tiny. Like there's barely any room for the both of us and our, all of our luggage. So let me show you what this tiny apartment looks like. So when you walk in, this is the little, I don't know if this is even considered a foyer, but then there's like a little closet here and they give you like um, a hamper. There's like a broom. And then this is your little, I'm trying not to show Justin cause he's not ready to be shown yet. This is the little kitchenette area, which this is a lot better than most places because when I was in Hilo, I did not have an oven. Like they have, this is a microwave oven and then there's a stove top, a fridge and a freezer. I have all of my food out that we just bought at Trader Joe's. And then I was just kind of looking in here. It's like a fully stocked kitchen. So everything you need to cook in here, it's like salt and pepper. There's even coffee filters, which is good because I totally forgot. And then, they have all the pots and pans here, which I'm gonna have to ask him to pull down for me because it's too dull for me. And then just a cute little sink. And then we have, those are all the groceries I bought at Trader Joe's. There's Justin. And so this is the bed, so it's a twin size bed. And it's a little Murphy bed. So the Murphy beds, you can kind of plop back up into the wall if you need to. And then here is the closet. I mean, they definitely made the most of this small space, which I love because it's just me. So then these are the two windows I was talking about earlier. I probably should have brought both blackout curtains, but that's fine. Um, a little desk area, a TV, a little nightstand here on the side. This is the bathroom. I mean, this is literally perfect for just one person. And yeah, that's basically it. Um... So this is the groceries I bought. This is, I don't have a car while I'm down here. So Justin rented a car and we were able to go to the grocery store. So I have enough food to last me, hopefully for the next two weeks, hopefully more, but just like basic stuff. Um, I got like some snacks for me to bring to work. I am working night shift. So typically a night shift, I'll usually have like a snack and then a meal. Um, but I bought some coffee because they do have a coffee maker here. Some quinoa, lemons, avocado, these chomps I like to use as a snack, an onion, some bread. Um, I bought some uh, tomato soup because tomorrow's supposed to snow really bad. So just in case we get stuck in the house, um, I'm going to make some grilled cheese sandwiches with the bread and um, these be this beecher cheese. And then we'll have some tomato soup. Got some hummus, some cheese, um, sriracha sauce. I got some oil to cook with, my everything but the bagel. Um, I got some eggs and some breakfast sausages <coughs> to eat. Broccoli, rice cauliflower, some beef that I'm going to um, stir up with these green beans. I got these turkey burgers because I want to use this. Um, just eat this with probably like the broccoli or something. I got some soup dumplings and kimchi soup because it's going to be cold, so I always crave soup. And then um, this cooked chicken 
these chicken breasts. I typically like getting the ones at Costco because it comes in like an individual package. And I like to snack on that with hummus. Dipping this in hummus is so, so, so good. And it's pretty filling. So that's everything. So it is now, what time is it, babe? Okay, so it is almost four o'clock. We have a dinner reservation at five o'clock. Um, we're going to this Italian restaurant that I saw when I was Googling stuff for us to do while Justin was here. I found this restaurant that does igloo dinners like on the rooftop. So I luckily found a reservation tonight, which is perfect because the weather is supposed to get bad tonight, like I said. Um, but the restaurant did call and they were like, hey, would you, because originally our reservation was at eight o'clock, but they asked if we could move it up because of the bad weather. And I was like, that's perfect because we honestly haven't really had a proper meal since breakfast. We kind of, oh, we got some coffee from Tim Hortons, but, um, and a donut, but that's it. So we're gonna get ready for dinner and then we will head out to our igloo dinner. <laughs> bigger party outside of us so we're here for a bit longer than we expected and the reason I look like this is because it is actively snowing in like outside of our igloo like look at the snow like I think if you compare how the igloo looked before when we first got here to now like we have all these heaters here so this is how they kept the igloo really warm there's like about one two three four heaters in here. I think one's not working. Justin was like messing with the other one trying to make it work but it didn't work but we were pretty warm with like three heaters but oh my god the snow is insane. Like literally it's been going off for about 30 minutes now and it's pretty thick. Like you can see on the ground how well, like it's about half a foot. Yeah it's pretty thick so I'm not gonna turn my this camera on specifically out when we get out because it's not waterproof and I didn't bring my GoPro but I will try to use my phone to like kind of show you guys how thick the ice is or the snow is so us being from Texas we've never really seen snow like this because when it snows in Texas it's like ice it doesn't stick and it's not like snow snow yeah. so we're very excited because this is technically our Christmas together because I will be here while he's in Dallas yeah. so it's our Christmas <laughs> as an engaged couple but yeah so cheers my love Merry Christmas Merry Christmas guys uh, before, before Thanksgiving <laughs> before Thanksgiving Merry Christmas but yeah it's getting like significantly colder in here and so that's why I have this on and we just ordered our uber we didn't drive here even though my apartment is only like less than five minutes away from here but yeah i'm gonna switch to my iphone to just show you guys how thick the snow is and us texans are just loving it so yeah Snowing. Warm boots. It's about no, it's 25 still snowing. It's here right now. It's pretty cold. So if you, if you get strained, the worst you Good morning. It is the next day. So last night, it snowed really hard. Obviously. 
So it's a little after 12.30. Yeah. So we're just now starting the day. We were really tired. We were like sleeping for like less than two hours yesterday. So we had a pretty good sleep last night. Um, the snow has stopped, but it's supposed to just keep snowing throughout the day. So Justin does have a rental car. So we're going to try to like get some of the snow off before it gets too cold. Um, and then there is a cafe around the corner that we're going to try to walk to, um, to grab some lunch. Um, and just kind of walk around and see what it looks like out there. So we are all dressed and he's putting some warmers on. So Justin had his bachelor party in Wisconsin. Lambeau Wisconsin. Field. Yeah, he went to go watch the Green Bay and we lost. <laughs> game with his friends. And I bought him and his friends these little warmers to wear at the game. And luckily they didn't use it all. So I'll be using it during my time here, which actually comes in really handy. So glad we have that so I will I'm gonna bring the GoPro because I did not want this camera to get wet and I'm sure I got wet yesterday from Niagara but yeah let's go check out outside Now, probably showed you guys a little bit earlier, but at least the sun is out. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. So it is now day three of Snowmageddon. So this morning we were able to kind of shovel out around the car and Justin was able to pull out onto the main road. So last night, I don't know if I showed anything, but last night we did walk around the neighborhood. Um, we were trying to grab some food at like a local, like a close restaurant, but they were all closed. So the good thing was we were able to walk my route to the hospital and it wasn't far at all. So that's really good. But we did notice that the main roads were all paved. So it was like, there were some cars driving last night. It's just like the roads in the neighborhoods aren't paved. So that's why like this snow is just accumulated so much. But on the main roads, um, you saw quite a bit of dr cars driving through. So yesterday, Justin's flight did get canceled. So he rescheduled it to take off today at five. We woke up this morning and we did take the car out and we stopped at Target to kind of pick up some more stuff for me before, I, before he leaves with the car. And there was a lot of people driving out. The roads look pretty paved, like able for people to be able to drive on. And it's just funny for those people that are from the north and stuff. We are from Texas, so we don't deal with a lot of weather like this. So it's all very new for us and navigating it has been pretty interesting. But I'm really thankful that Justin is here and um, yeah, because I don't know how I would have dealt with it by myself. I mean, I know I would have dealt with it, but it's nice to have him here. Um, so we got back to the apartment and he is all packed. He's gonna head to the airport um, in a couple hours. We're pretty sure his flight will take off because they said the runways were open yesterday, but just a lot of flights were canceled. Basically all the flights were canceled yesterday. Um, but today I think it looks a lot better. It's not supposed to snow anymore for the rest of the day. So that's really good. It's just kind of like maintaining the roads and stuff out here. But he is packing and then I will be alone. So I am going to spend some time with him before he leaves and we're going to grab some lunch and then I will catch up with you guys after. Bye darling. Bye. Leaving me now. Goodbye, Snow. <laughs> I'm over you. 
Hello friends. So it is now 3.30 and Justin just left. He just dropped me off back at my apartment. Um, we had lunch at the Anchor Bar, which is this bar where buffalo wings originated from. It was pretty good. It was, uh, we sat at the bar, the bartender was super friendly and everyone there was fun to talk to. So it was a really good experience. Um, but yeah, Justin just left. I'm praying that he has a really safe flight to the airport, but the roads seem pretty okay, especially the main road. So feeling confident about that. I'm just hoping his flight doesn't get canceled and all goes well with that. Um, cause I think he is on the last flight out for today, but, um, yeah, just hoping for, <sighs> good things for him to get home um but yeah I'm like kind of sad that he's gone um very 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 thankful to my fiance if you're watching this thank you so much for flying out here when you knew a blizzard like this snowstorm was coming and all the possibilities that could come with it you still came and you were great and I miss you already so yeah so, um, but yeah, it was just kind of sad because I was like, I think I will see you after the holidays because I will be here for eight weeks. So up until our wedding, basically. Um, but yeah, like kind of just spending the holidays apart from each other. It's our, you know, obviously our only holidays, um, as an engaged couple and we won't be spending it together but you know we do see the bigger picture for everything but it was kind of crazy because i was like man last year we were in hawaii together so for those of you that don't know justin did take an assignment last year while i was in hawaii so we spent about two months together in oahu and it was great we got to spend christmas and new year's together there and it was just so much fun living in hawaii together last year and now i'm here in snowy new york but you know what? I'm really excited about this experience. I have an open mind. I am excited for opportunities that will come with this assignment um, because it is a different kind of facility than I'm used to. Like I said, it is more, it is a cardiac facility. So excited to learn new things, excited to explore this side. Um, the East Coast, never really explored here before. So very, very excited. Um, and to think that this is really the last time I will live alone before I'm married, it's like, wow, big things. <laughs> um, but yeah, like this is the last time I will live alone before I'm married and have to live with a boy for the rest of my life. So those are all um, just things I'm thinking about. But yeah, so like I said, it's all okay. So it's about 3:30. I do have orientation tomorrow at work, bright and early at 7:30. So I am going to spend the rest of the day cleaning this tiny apartment and meal prepping for my meals for the rest of the week. Um, this is a tiny, tiny apartment, and the fact that me and Justin were able to live here together for three days, trapped in here, without killing each other proves that we are meant to be because this place is tiny and let me show you guys the fact that we spent the last <coughs> the fact that we spent the last three nights on a twin size bed it's crazy but yeah i need to like tidy up everything clean up and isn't it so it's like nice and sunny outside too but i'm gonna clean and then oh let me show you guys what i got at target actually but we did stop at Target to grab some things. So I grabbed some Tupperware because I realized I didn't have any Tupperware to put the food that I prepped. So I bought some of that. I bought a little broom thing because um, the broom that came with the apartment didn't have the pan. And then I thought, oh, Justin found this. It was like $5. So this is a mini duster mini dustpan and a brush for me. Um, I got a candle because I realized that's what I was missing at my apartment was something that smelled a little holiday. There were so many, oh my God, it's like, hold on. There were so many holiday stuff at Target, but I decided I'm gonna wait till December 1st to decorate the apartment like Christmas. So I can have a little bit of Christmas here while I'm here. Um, toothpaste. And then, I bought some slippers. I got some house. I didn't bring many house slippers. So I found these. Justin picked these out. These like cute little smiley face 
Santa guys. So cute. Had that to have my and then uh, I think I did show you guys how it's kind of cool here at this Target because because it is up north and the weather is very cold, a lot of the stuff they have is aimed towards that. So it's kind of funny when you're in Hawaii, all the beach stuff. When you're here in New York, all the winter stuff. So they have like long johns and stuff that they don't sell in Texas. And then I got a little neck gaiter thing um, because I am walking to the hospital. I saw like people use this to like cover their face <laughs> I hope that's how you use it but yeah when I was walking around earlier um, usually my scarf is enough but it's so cold like I really do need something to like cover this um, so this will come in handy and I think that's all I got yeah so time to clean meal prep and just get ready for tomorrow Alright, I have successfully tidied up this tiny apartment. I did some dishes. I mean, this is tiny, right? Like, not much room to put anything, but did some dishes, kind of tidied up and swept the floor, um, cleaned the bathroom. So now I am going to meal prep for the week. Alrighty, it is night time and it is, is it 8? Oh, it is 8. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's about 8.20 and I am ready for bed. I did my meal prep, have my scrubs ready, and tomorrow morning I have to be at one of the campuses at 7.30. It says to try to be there 15 minutes before. And it is about, I would say like a 10 minute walk from my apartment, um, but because of the snow that's still out, I would give it like a 15, 20 minute walk just to be safe. So I'm gonna plan to wake up around 5.30 to get ready for tomorrow, but I think I will end this vlog here. And I just wanna say thanks so much for watching and sharing this the last few days with me and starting this new assignment. I hope you guys find this helpful, useful, entertaining in a way. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.